this may not seem like much to you guys, but uh, just looking down in this area here, you may not notice anything, but uh, a keen eye would pick up on traces and pieces of the puzzle here. Let's zoom in here. That is actually a pot shard, Native American pottery. It's got the grid on the inside. You can almost see the curve. This is the outside. You can almost see a texture too, a design on it. There's the grit, and the inside has a slight curve to it. Each one of these is like a piece of a puzzle, literally. Okay, let's find the other one here. There are two pieces there, shirts there, and right there. They're all about the same color. This one's pretty deteriorated. And another here. You can see a slight curve to it. That would be the outside. It's a little, a little worn out a little bit there. And there's the inside. All these are pretty darn small too. Hard to, hard to see when you're walking over top of them, but each one of them represents a piece of a puzzle. The process of trying to figure out what's going on in this little area here. Obviously they had pots and this one broke. Just like you'd break a dish, pieces go everywhere. They don't pick them up, they leave them here. And this is just evidence that the, they had used a pot in this area. It's probably 1200, 1500 years old. Here's another one here. See the grit? Little ground up pieces of stone granite. Another little small piece about the size of a, a dime. I always put these back because uh, this is a an, indica an indicator that this is where uh, there was some activity and I try to leave those indicators in place for future research and to map out and maybe have a formal archaeological dig to understand what's going on. Because every time someone swipes one of these pieces, that's one piece of a puzzle that's missing from the picture. You ever try to put a puzzle together without the all the pieces? Well, that's what we're dealing with. So keep a keen eye out for stuff like this. Okay, what do we got here? Do you see it yet? Very nice. This is a flake, which uh, comes off a larger piece of chert, stone. Uh, it is popped off, napped off from a larger stone to create a spear point, stone tool, arrowhead, etc. You can almost see 
where it was hit and struck and the impact caused this surface here to come off the larger stone and this side's a little bit jagged but you can see the other little flakes that have come off come off this this flake when it was attached to the larger stone also here here there etc so this was the outside and this was the part of the flake that was still attached to the stone chert material that popped off so just like whittling a stick you would have a bunch of shavings all over from the process of whittling a stick down the same thing with uh, creating a stone tool all the flakes uh, that you would have coming off this the chert the larger stone to create the tool you would have a pile of these around and when they resharpen them they would you'd have a smaller pile smaller flakes possibly to sharpen the edges but uh, this could have been used as a scraper that really sharp edge there you could use to scrape things off like a little mini knife blade but in this case I don't see much wear there anyways that's a uh, evidence of of Native American activity in the area I always keep them where where I find them this may seem strange that I get excited about these things but uh, to me this is amazing this is craftsmanship that was and skill that was uh, part of the day everyday life for Native Americans and uh, to to find evidence of of their presence here it's a flake pottery Pottery, pot shirt, another pot shirt, small piece. Where else do we have it in here? More pottery. Where else is some more? It's all over the place here. There. Can you see that the layers, the outside layer, the inside layer, and a little eroded piece right there. This just fascinates me. There's a flake right here. Oop, dropped it. Just amazes me. This would probably be shattered rock here, fire cracked rock, evidence of a maybe a fire pit with rocks that were originally around, heated up and then cooled and they shatter. Fire cracked rock. Look at how dark that center is. Oh, there we go. It's called a rim shirt. Can you see the... I'm going to put this on the ground. Can you see how that curves, curves up over the top here? That's the top of a rim. A piece of the pottery. Usually they can help you identify it. I'm not a pottery expert so but that's pretty darn cool we got a rim shirt here uh, what else we got here possible flake oh my gosh and here we are a modern day projectile 
22 mixed in with pieces remnant of uh, Native American projectile points there's pottery flake possible flake possible flake amazes me gets me really excited something that simple that's pretty degraded okay I know it's hard for you to see I'm not sure if you could spot it but uh, there's a few different things in this little area here that you can see in the video that are uh, key indicators. Pot sherd, pot sherd, pot sherd, flake. Oh, where else? There's got to be more. I'm sure there is all subsurface this is pretty darn cool little snapshot in time here all in one spot it's awesome heck that may have that almost could have could be a point too. Really small. That could be effective. Oops, dang it, didn't mean to bump it, but here we are. Got the same brown. Dark interior with the grit. Ooh. Almost thought it was a rim shirt. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. You could actually see. Do you see that design? Look at the lines. I don't know if you can see the lines. That is awesome. That's the inside of the pot. You can almost see the curve to it. Look at those lines. That's awesome. Look at those lines. Beautiful. Love it. Put your back. This one is a little degraded. Very much so. Awesome. This one is really worn out the flake kind of mixed in with the the ferns here some flakes are really super small it's hard to even see them Thin that is. 